Hey, hi guys, welcome you all. Welcome to Tech Tiger Academy. I'm Ravi, your instructor for this Checkpoint and GX CCSA, CCSC, and CCSM series. Uh, we are going to concentrate on, on the version R80.40 in this series. Uh, in this lecture, we will talk about Gaia. What does it mean by Gaia? What is Gaia? What is Plat? Why Gaia came into picture when other operating systems were in market? The features of Gaia and expert mode and all that. That's what we are going to cover in this lecture. It is again, I would, I would say that this is again a foundational lecture, right? Just please listen it very carefully. Um, so I'm just moving to the next slide now. The first thing that I want to do, I'll take a minute. I want to talk about the recap. So, so the previous topics that we have done, one is, uh, one is the three-tier architecture. We understood components, security management server, security gateway, and smart console. We understood about that, uh, how can we download r80.40.iso image? How can we download smart console? We also understood uh, different types of deployment modes available as per an architecture. We understood that there are five different modes, you know, standalone, distributed, management HA, bridge mode, as well as full HA. So, so let us just concentrate now on Gaia. What is Gaia, guys? So Gaia, if I just try to uh, make it very simple for you, it is an operating system, right? You need to understand that Checkpoint software, Checkpoint NGX is, is a software operating system, right? Right, and, and you know, it's a software, and before you download any software, you actually need an operating system as a base. So, Checkpoint, you can install on any available operating system available in the market. Let's say that you can install uh, Checkpoint NGX on Windows, on Windows Server family, on Linux, so on also on Solaris. So then what was the need, guys? Then, you know, like why Checkpoint had to come up with their own operating systems? So I tell you the story here that, you know, the other operating systems which were available in market, they also had a lot of problems. So one of the problem there was that, you know, they were very heavy. They were rich in terms of GUI interface. They were rich in terms of features. Um, some of the features were actually not needed for any firewall, right? Um, um, they were heavy in sizes. They actually required high amount of memory, uh, hard disk as well as processing power, just only to process operating system, right? Let's forget about the checkpoint firewall on top of it. And the other thing is that just because so many services were installed over there, so so many backdoor entries were there, so many vulnerabilities were also published in those operating systems. So if you install checkpoint on top of any operating system which already has so many vulnerabilities published, you can imagine if any of that vulnerability is exploited, that means the entire checkpoint infrastructure uh, is at risk, right? So considering all these uh, all these issues, right? Checkpoint decided to create their own operating system. They they came with the concept. They came with an operating system from the Linux family. They created a very lightweight operating system. It only had few services. It only had very basic features, and these features were not uh, not configured. These features were just disabled. You could configure them. You could enable them at per your wish. So. So that was the reason why they called it as Splat. Splat simply means secure platform. Splat came in two versions, Splat and Splat Pro. And then Gaia has superseded Splat now. Now Gaia is a combination of Splat plus Ipso, right? Those, uh, those of you who have heard about Nokia appliances and other hardware appliances, that time Ipso operating system uh, was uh, used to be over there. So Gaia is a combination of Ipso as well as splat right and then and then you know like being a lightweight operating system this is this is this is like a best fit because it does not degrade the performance it actually needs very minimum amount of resources just to be installed it also takes less time in terms of installation and once this is installed then on top of that operating system you have a wish you can install either security management server you could install either security gateway on top of splat or you can install both security management server as well as Splat if you want to go with the standalone mode of deployment, right? Again, this is very important. I'm saying that 
once this operating system so splat and gaia it's just an operating system checkpoint technology being a software firewall they need a baseline operating system so instead of using windows instead of using linux any other operating system available in market you can just use uh, linux you can uh, you can just use splat or gaia operating system and then on top of it you can install either of the rules either of the roles maybe smart center server or security gateway or you can also install both the roles on one machine right depending on you can go with standalone deployment you can go with distributed deployment and all that so that was the reason guy why splat or why gaia came into picture right so let us just go through these features as well which i have written especially for you guys um uh, is a it was allowed to be installed on any it could be installed on windows servers so why checkpoint needed to create your own operating system the reason was the other operating systems were feature rich they were not designed with security in mind that's the biggest concern that was the reason why splat came into existence that that is the reason why gaia came into existence right let me move to the next slide so now we will talk about what is gaia so so now uh, gaia can gaia is an operating system it's a it's a next version of splat okay it's a unified operating system um, gaia combines the best of uh, splat as well as ipso gaia is also referred to as checkpoint next generation operating system for security appliances as well as applications uh, so gaia operating system supports the full portfolio of checkpoint software blades when i say software blades that means the entire checkpoint suite can be installed on top of uh, on top of gaia or splat either you can enable firewall or you can enable ips application control url filtering threat emulation antivirus anti or uh, anti bot you know dlp all the software blades are supported over on on top of splat or gaia okay now for management purposes it gives very limited consoles you can either ssh into it or you can connect to it over an https right and um, it's a full feature operating system like other linux operating systems and you can also uh, do sorts of operations like you know um, you can do routing you can do snmp so there are different set of features available in gaia which i am going to cover in my next slide so so as other operating system it also supports both ip version 4 as well as ip version 6 that's the feature number 1 feature number 2 is that it has a network management capability that means you can configure its interfaces there's a concept of arp it supports all these protocols like dhcp dns uh, static routing you can create number of routes that's a netflow export there's a system management functionality as well that means you can configure date and time you can configure snmp system logging login messages mail notification job scheduler uh, cloning groups core dumps the other feature is that uh, it's a high connections and virtual system capacity it's a kind of 64 bit linux kernel support uh, other feature is that it supports load sharing let's say that it supports cluster excel and interface bonding we will talk about interface bonding in some of our next videos where you can uh, group two interfaces uh, to increase their uh, to increase their bandwidth value then there is a high availability support as well it it supports cluster excel vrrp and again interface bonding it has a support for dynamic as well as multicast routing and it supports these routing protocols bgp ospf rip uh, static routing is already discussed over here and these are the multicast routing protocols supported over here it's very easy to use command line interface and you can also do the complete user management you can create users you can create administrators 
and you can also do role based administration so you can assign specific roles as well as permissions to specific administrators so that you want to restrict their um, their operational control also right and then there are some maintenance features take an example hardware health monitoring snapshot monitoring rate synchronization backup shutdown and re and, and the reboot so all these features are available in gaia it's very light in size it takes less time in getting installed once it is installed uh, it, it it needs a reboot once it is rebooted then immediately you can connect to it over over https and the moment you connect over it over an https it gives you first time configuration wizard and once you run that wizard you again do some configuration and then it takes you to the selection of whether you want to do uh, install either a security management server or you want to install security gateway or you want to install both the roles on a similar machine we will do everything live in a lab in my next video so so just keep watching guys uh, next is very interesting so so the Gaia has you know it uh, just because if, if you all are you know like Linux mindset guys or even if you have not worked on Linux so this is something basic that you need to understand that in Gaia once you logged in right it it basically has you know like two ways so the moment you log in you actually log in uh, with the Clish shell okay in a Clish shell you have very limited set of functionalities right anything you do in the Clish is all rounding the operating system capabilities as well you do not get access to anything related to the security management server or the security gateway files and directories right if you just want to do low level operations right if you want to do um, operations specific to security management server or maybe security gateway server where you need to look for certain files and you need to do some changes then you just need to elevate your login credential then you need to log in as an expert user then you need to log in into an expert mode it's, it's just that you just need to type down expert and then it will give you password so expert mode is a kind of password protected um, it, it can be plain text password or it can be salted md5 hash uh, password for the expert mode once this is set then you are eligible to do all Linux related operations uh, for either of the role and it's very easy to quit from expert mode you just need to type exit and then you're back any changes that you have made you need to do the save config file uh, so Gaia Clish is a restrictive shell as I said that it's it's the basic Clish, it's the basic shell. Gaia shell is the basic one. It gives you functionalities only related to operating system. That's it. Gaia Clish does not give access to the low level system functions. And for more low level configuration, use the more permissive expert mode. So, expert mode shell is a more permissive than compared to the Clish one. If a command is supported in Gaia Clish, it is not possible to run it in the expert mode. This is something you will realize yourself when I am going to uh, give you the entire lecture over the Gaia, where I will where I will tell you all the basic configurations that you can do in the Clish shell and the configuration that you can do uh, uh, in the expert mode, right? In that shell. Um, so that's we have covered. Expert mode is password protective you can create other plain text or md5 salted hash and then you must run the save config command at the end of the set new password experimentally so 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 that's all guys that's that's all about uh, the expert mode right let me just do real recap real quick so we understood gaia that why gaia was needed just because other operating systems available in market were heavy in sizes, were heavy in number of features. Uh, Checkpoint being a software, they needed an operating system, but they needed a secure operating system with less vulnerabilities, with less backdoor entries. So that's why Checkpoint came with the concept of their own operating system. They came with SPLAT. SPLAT stands for Secure Platform. Now Gaia 
uh, is the next version of splat gaia combines splat plus ip so um, gaia gaia provides uh, features uh, like um, all these features are available in in gaia operating system it's very simple to configure it gives you access over an ssh as well as https uh, once it is installed it will ask you for a reboot and post that reboot you can connect to it over an ip address with https and once you logged in and then uh, you can do all sorts of operations it will it will walk you through the first time configuration wizard and during that wizard it will help you choose that if you want to install security management server or you want to install security gateway or you want to install both the roles uh, in that one virtual machine and then again finally it will also ask you for a reboot and all that so so that's that that's what's all about the features and then that's an expert mode the moment the, um, the default login that you see you log in into the cliche mode uh, this is less permissive but when you want to do some low level operations when you want to do operations related to security management server or security gateway specific where you need more uh, privileges then you need to uh, push into expert mode expert mode is a password protected mode uh, once you log in into expert mode then you can do operations required as a low level functionalities and whatever you do you just need to do save config and it's easy to come back from expert mode with the command exit and all that so that's all guys um, uh, this is this is an end of this uh, 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 lecture of Gaia understanding I hope um, I was able to connect you well I hope I was able to make you understand the Gaia um, keep watching in the next video now I'm just simply going to do some of the live labs I'm going to con do now check an example I'm going to do a standalone installation I'm going to do distributed installation I will do hybrid installation live in front of you I will do VMware virtualization I will do full management uh, full management HA full HA everything I'll do live uh, in front of you so that you can do it yourself so that you can learn it you can take advantage and then you can get a good job in market guys uh, that's all guys just uh, just please uh, click like give some comments uh, subscribe to my channel forward it to your friends help them also learn that's all guys uh, I wish you good luck have a wonderful day have a wonderful life goodbye